and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some glorious fizz. That's what we're calling this one. Uh, this is a pretty popular deck, well, you know, somewhat popular deck that you've probably played against um, where it's it's an elusive combo deck. So really what we want to do here is get glorious evolution. I want to play this. So all of our cards have minus one cost. They all have augment and uh, those are the important things. So then we have uh, all these cards that usually cost one mana now cost zero. You know, your Fizz, your Otterpus, Trinket Trade, um, all these kind of cards, like your Prank, all that costs zero. And so basically what, what then you do is you, you play your zero mana Fizz, play your zero mana Daring Poros, you have your zero mana Elusives, and they all have Augment. And then you can play a ton of cards after that um, and while your Elusives are growing, and then attack them and deal 20 damage with Elusives. It helps out if you can get Curious Shell Folk in play first. So like maybe Curious Shell Folk on round six, Glorious Evolution on round seven, and then that round seven, you can also then start playing all your zero mana cards. And with the Shell Folk in play, you can create more pranks and um, everything like that. And then you like your Trinket Trade makes two Otter Puss that makes, you know, multiple pranks and so on. And kill your opponent from there. So that's, that's what our deck's all about. That's what it's like. And so we're going to call it Glorious Fizz, because we haven't really played too much Fizz uh, on the channel. Uh, that's one of my least played champions, so I want to play some Fizz. So that, that's what got us to uh, play this deck today. Right. Change our uh, record. Okay, so we got... Trundle Trindamir is going to be our matchup. We're definitely keeping Shellfolk. Um, I could see keeping Vi or not keeping Vi. Either one. I think we'll send Vi back. We definitely want Glorious Evolution. We're not really like a play, fizz around one and attack style of deck. We're more of a... Wait till we have combo and combo style of deck. Progress Day is interesting. You know, it's, it's either Serpent or Progress Day. The reason to take Serpent is to just be another card that we can play for zero mana. The reason to take Progress Day is kind of obvious. It will help us find Glorious Evolution. I'm going to try the Serpent. All right, we'll just Pokey Stick to draw a card while it only costs one mana. Hey, good card to draw. Um, not the best cards to have, but good card to draw. Unfortunately, no Glorious Evolution. That's what we want to hit uh, for obvious reasons. Uh, I just don't really see these other two. I mean, I guess maybe Give It All could... You know, I, I don't think True Shop Barrage is going to help that much. So it's either Treasure Trash or Give It All. And I think we'll go with just Treasure Trash. Ari Shock just beat Victor. Good job. Top deck a Jace when you needed to. Good job. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we got 9 cards. 3, 6, 9. Yep. Okay. Just making sure we only have 9 before I pass. Where are you at, Glorious Evolution? He does have a tune. Yeah, that card's pretty good. Our deck doesn't really do anything if we don't have Glorious Evolution, does it? Like, maybe I guess I could have... I could have... 
I guess I could have tried to do something better than what I have. There we go. Unfortunately, I don't have the attack token this round. But finally. Next round's gonna be pretty sweet for us. If we don't die. So there's always atrocity. This will put us down to two. Man, so they hit four cards. So one, two, two others. I just have a block like that's also just like a removal spell kind of kills us. I guess either way a, rem a removal spell will kill us. Yeah. Okay, so it took a little too long to find a Glorious Evolution. I should have taken the 8 mana draw 3 earlier, I think. We were most likely going to kill them the next round. It was going to be pretty tough for them to stay alive. They would have had to have like multiple ice shards, like, you know, fast speed removal. Alright, so we definitely keep Shellfolk. Send the others back. Um, but... As always, we need to find the Glorious Evolution. I kind of feel like we should maybe have another... Hello. Maybe we should have another Pharos Financier in here. We just use a, po a popular list online, since this is a, you know, kind of a popular deck. Another Pharos Financier would be able to help us just have a couple more things that could grab. Man, these cards are just not good at all. I guess this thing, but I don't, even, I don't care about that card. I don't care about any of those options. Anyway. Pharos Financier would be a card that could also maybe, mayhaps, grab... Um, Glorious Evolution. I am more nice. Yeah, our deck's feeling pretty bad right now. <laughs> if we don't have Glorious Evolution. It just helps out the Fury. Alright, we'll block Pokestick our own things. So they don't get to do the damage. Uh, many more cool, many more cool. Why couldn't you show up last game? I completely forgot that you were even in our deck anymore. It would be nice to have you against the Trundle Trindomir deck, that's for sure. Shining gifts from the sky. I really wish we could have a glorious evolution. The end of this world yep. draws near. Trinket Trade is the best card for my combo. It's not the best card for the current board, board state. These cards aren't very useful. Much, speaking of useful, it would be much more useful if we could find a Glorious Evolution. 
Like we gotta have three Pharaoh's financiers to help us find evolution. Thank you. It's maybe a little too late, though. Alright, Glorious Evolution, what can you do for us? We don't have any elusives right now. Okay, so just have that in their deck. Could have played the, sh the Otter Puss first. first. Um, Alright, so we got to kill Shivana. Like, looking at like what they have left over there, it's not much. I'm gonna play my auto first. We wear red. Okay, the, the, fallen. the other problem though is like looking what I have is also not very much. not to be able to block. Alright, good. Make it not block. So they can have four blockers. We got six attackers. Man, attack of the Otterpus. This is what, this is why, you know, like, whenever we're just, like, sitting there doing nothing for a really long time, and you're like, why aren't we doing anything? And, and I was talking about how we need Glorious Evolution. This is why we need Glorious Evolution. This is what we were talking about. Glorious Evolution is absurd with Otterpus. So, yeah, they can block four. Take the rest. And that's game. <laughs> the Otterpus Army. Beaten dragons. Dang. Alright, 101. Because in that round, we played Curious Shell Folk and. Mini morph in that same round, <laughs> you know, which is a lot of mana. All right, Elise Jace, keep Shellfolk. 
look for Glorious Evolution. Send the re rest of the stuff back. Yeah, we should just call it Otterpus Evolution. Basic yeah, basically. Yeah, I mean, that would, that would work. This card can also create Glorious Evolution at times. Uh, I'm not going to take this thing, so it's either Moonglow for these two, or Scythria. I could see this being like a pretty decent Scythria matchup. I don't know. We'll just take that. I don't really know what I'm going to do with Scythria. But it'll be in our deck. We may just discard Scythria to Porto Cannon. The sea. Sweet. Yes. Thank you, Cythria. <laughs> Good old thumbs down. <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't really see anything to do here. Besides, take a lot of damage. Man, that was a clutch, Scythria. Protecting my glorious evolution. <sighs> Seven damage? We don't even have a very good Shuffle can. But it's just the thing to do is play the Shuffle. Yeah, my Caitlyn Viego went 4 and 1. Very happy with that. So I wish we had like more trinket trades and stuff. Than what we have. Wow. Are they dead? Nah, probably not dead. No, I just don't have a very good hand. So they're not dead yet. Whoa. They're not dead yet. Um. What do I want to like discard and stuff though? Alright, we discard a Mystic Sean. Oh, now do we, what do we discard? Mini Morph, I guess? Yeah, they can have a Jason Senna, I don't really care about them. I guess, I guess they are dead. I kind of just kind of assumed they were going to have a go hard. I guess they didn't. So, I guess they are dead. That's 20 elusive right there. And that wasn't even a very good... <laughs> that wasn't even a very good hand. But yeah, that's 20 elusive right there. Okay, playing against some ramp. Maybe we can ramp into Glorious Evolution. Alright, there's Evolution. Send you back. Alright. Well, so now we have like our most important card, the evolution, and so we want you know trick or trade perfect with evolution. I'm just gonna keep the Bandle City Mayor because it like gives me something to do in the mid game and like gives me another card of like something else to do. So like we can do a couple of things instead of just like doing nothing. All right, looks like we got mini morphs for their big champions. We'll we'll see Nasher maybe. All right, they got lots of ramp. This 
requires my largest official hat. Lots of ramp. Where are we going? The trap is set. So Avalanche is the problem with playing just playing my other Vandal City Mayor first. I'm gonna waste the mana anyway. I'm just gonna lead with the loping telescope. Um I don't care about these cards. I guess you. I guess. care about y'all. Charger is a one mana card that will turn into zero mana after a glorious evolution. Yeah, <laughs> Rose said that the, the face of the old one's buff made it unkillable. Yeah, that's what, that's what it kind of seems like. Is there any chance they don't have Field of Rush? Any chance? Red carefully. Feel the rush. Alright, Mini Morph there, that still lets me be able to play Evolution next round. I just realized this is a Deny deck. Yeah, there's a much higher percentage chance that they have Field of Rush than I have Glorious Evolution. From what we've seen from our games. I'm through waiting! Get ready for a beatdown! All right, so they have one, two, three, one other card that costs lots of mana. Okay, perfect hand. Double faces of the old ones. Ramp into Trundle mid game. Feel the rush and also deny. Like, that's just a perfect hand. Wow, what a perfect hand. Alright, two and two. That deck is looking unbeatable because we played against it twice today, and both times they had double faces of the old ones. Timo Zed. That's not a deck you see too often. We're playing a Glorious Evolution one turn kill deck. But it takes a little bit of time to get going. 
We need to, first of all, find Glorious Evolution. I probably should have sent Trinket Trade back. Kind of kept it in case we need, like, the spell or something also. I probably should have sent the Trinket Trade back. No Zed, no Zed, no Zed. Both opponents, we, we've we killed them just in one shot from 20. Pledge Ugh. To the shadows. They did have Zed. Please no protection for Zed. I looked there for like Mystic Shot. Okay, that's Zed dead. I don't really know what the point of that was. Like they just spent three mana to do nothing. They're left with a Zed in their hand, but they would have had a Zed in their hand anyway. So they just spent three mana to do nothing. So, I guess I'm happy with that. For all the reasons we are one. Okay. Eyes open. Watch the branches. Couple two one elusives. That's fine with me. Alright, we're looking for Glorious Evolution. So my best play this next round is Shellfolk, but if I do play Shellfolk, I can't play Glorious Evolution the round after. not a glorious evolution. Um, I don't know, it doesn't really matter. I guess I should have gone with Financier. I guess Financier has a much better shot to finding glorious evolution. Alright, or well, we gotta play some elusives now. Yeah, we probably have to play some elusives. Hit him where it hurts. Eat this. So basically, whenever we draw Glorious Evolution, it will make all of our cards cost one less, and we have all sorts of cards that cost like one mana, so that will all be zero. And then all of our cards will have Augment, so whenever we play a card, our units get plus one, plus zero. And so we play tons of cards, they all get plus one, plus zero, and we one-shot them. That's the, that's the goal. Yes! We found it! Alright, now hopefully they don't have Deny. It's hard to have Deny with three mana. Next round, we going for a ride. I mean, we could do a lot of stuff this round, but... Yeah, we'll have the attack token next round. Alright, so... Block. 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 Take four? I mean, I think, a, I think 11's pretty healthy. I think we're just fine at 11. Yeah, I could make it 13 by throwing away the Bandle City Mayor, but I think that we're pretty healthy. Okay, that's fine with me. True, true, true. Could have played zero mana blocker before evolution. That is true. But, you know, don't have to. 
All right, shuffle time. Okay. So they can probably get like six blockers. Like they have elusive blockers also, so we're not gonna really be able to one-shot them here. Double the serpent. I, I would like more Should glorious evolutions, it. please. So basically, they're they're passing here because they want to play their Zed um, after combat, most likely. So let's see. rid of a blocker. I guess I have to discard a, a Glorious Evolution. Okay. That will do. You realize this is not going to go well for me. And that's going to be a three and two. So pretty awesome deck here. I think that's the one thing. I probably want another Pharos Financier to just help me find more copies of Glorious, Glorious Evolution and just be another unit we can play early. I think I like that over even like a Mystic Shot or a Pokey Stick. Maybe maybe take out one of these cards because I think we leave in all the rest. I could also just see playing two Vi. Um, you know, maybe you don't really need three Vi. Like Vi is just kind of there to distract the opponent, basically. Um, you know, I liked the mini morph. Yeah, so I think I think we can take out either a Mystic Shot, Pokey Stick, or Vi. Pokey Stick, of course, draws a card, which is really nice. So probably Mystic Shot or Vi. I kind of think it's maybe just Vi. Yeah, I kind of think you just played two Vi's. I think I'd rather just have Financier most of the time in my hand than Vi, because I guess that's it. Because I don't really see anything else that you take out, unless you take out a Conchologist. I guess you could maybe do that, maybe, because Financier is probably just more important than Conchologist if you just want to switch those two. I'd rather have the spell that costs six plus mana, but the thing about Financier is, like, if you don't hit Glorious Evolution, you're not getting useful stuff, where Conchologist can hit Trinket Trade. This is tough. I want to play these 41. <laughs> I don't know which one of these one cards to cut, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, if you got, like, you know, which one of these cards would you cut? Like, how would you fit another Financier in here? Um, what would you do for that? Maybe it is just Mystic Shot. So that, you know, because you, you have like these things that can create Mystic Shots. Yeah, maybe it's that. Maybe just take out a Mystic Shot. All right. Anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. Let me know what which card you would cut from the deck if you want to get another Financier into Find a Glorious Evolution. But if you've been playing the deck yourself, let me know how it's been going for you. We played some uh, pretty cool games there. Um, so yeah, hopefully y'all have been enjoying it, but that's going to be it for Glorious Fizz. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.